Greeting fellow modelers. I hope you are all doing well. So today I have a kit that looks like this came from Russia and it's a 2015 kit. The TA 152 H1. Now this kit from Fork Wolf 133 scale. I love the Fork Wolf 152. And the reason being is that you notice it's not FW152 but TA. This is like one of the highest honors given to Kirk Tank, the designer of it. And you can tell from its lineage, this come from the FW190. And the last evolution before it got to 152 was probably the Dora. So the overall nice quality print from this company if anyone could tell me what this is in English, I'd appreciate it. Of course, the history and the basic construction instruction here and the overall view of it. You discover as time go by that the quality of instructions on paper models tend to get better and better as years go by. This sort of reminds you of how Halinsky do their, their drawings. As you can see the very detail of how the kit is made. Like if you look at the artwork, the detail of how the seating. Look at that. It's incredible. Like, I don't know. Let, let me see if I can get close up. Look there. That's incredible. And of course, you have, this would probably be where you have the engine intake, air intake. And now onto the thin sheet here that we glue onto our one millimeter thick cardstock. You can tell that this is a wheel. These are the formers for the fuselage area. And then here we have for the wing. It's quite a wingspan for this model. And here now we have the cockpit layout. Really nicely done. This almost reminds me of a Halinsky kit in terms of the quality. This designer, whoever, top, top. You can tell, cockpit. And here we have it. I think this is green six. Or green nine. Looks like green nine. Green nine. Quality 160 gram cardstock. Nice. You can see the true span of the wing, eh? It's really, really lovely. So the join here is for the tip you can see right there and right there. And then the detail that you have to pay attention to the flaps, you can see the details that you can build in the fairing at the wing root. It's really well done. 160 sheet, 160 sheet. The cowling, engine exhaust ports. Nice. And of course, 
you have the spare strips in case there is any joints need to be made cockpit instrument panel landing gear wheel well area flap strut stringers and stiffeners you can tell that this is within the landing gear bay the rib paddle props and the spinner canopy beautiful layout quite love it and then this seems to be in a very thin sheet I'm not sure what this is oh lovely lovely and here you can see RLM 65 70 70 beautiful so these are the RLM colors that is used if you're using um, colors to also match back when you paint on here you go it's beautifully done quite incredible I feel like this kit is money well spent and here you have the overall view of it this could easily have been mistaken for a Halinski kit there's the intake this bubble hood it's really nice I'm impressed I'm clearly impressed with this kit love the layout love the scheme work look at that And of course, they also have, tell me if this is a KI-27, I'm not quite sure. Oh, KI-43, there you go, I'm so sorry, KI-43. But I love this. Green 9, TA-152, from this Russian company. I wish I knew what it was saying. Please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for reviewing this with me. So, until then, my friends, take care, walk good, enjoy life, enjoy life. And above all, my friends, one love.